Hey, what's up, everyone? So just a quick little tip on Alembics uh, and being able to keyframe the frame property. Uh, so basically, we just have a cube here. Let's just make a quick Alembic. Let's animate this, you know, fancy. Uh, there we go. It's animated. So now let's take it. Let's bake it down as an Alembic. Uh, let's go to my desktop. Sure. OK, <clears throat> we have the Alembic and it's animating as we animated it. Now, if we go to the object properties here, we'll see the use animation interpolation offset. Uh, the offset works fine, um, but when you're trying to remap this thing and say you have more frames, it trying to remap with this curve is really difficult, um, especially if anything is extended. I hate it. So uh, here's my solve for this. Uh, first, we're going to add some user data. And so this is just kind of a custom controller. Uh, controller, there we go. We got to make sure that it is a float value, float real value. Press OK. And now we get this user data with this controllable property here. Uh, next, what we'll have to do is go into our programming tags and go to Expresso. Let's bring this window. Here's Expresso. This is basically a node based. Um, sort of like a behind the scenes thing. <clears throat> so what we want to do is we drop our cube in here uh, and we want to get the object properties and the frame parameter. Uh, and then we have uh, on the cube, we have our user data. Uh, so we can control, uh, control drag and we'll get the, um, get a duplicate of it and we'll get that control data. And so these are our outputs. Um, if I can get it to, there we go. And into the inputs, this is this is incorrect. Let's delete that part. Uh, the import, object properties, and frame. There we go. All right, so from here, we're gonna need something called time because what we are affecting is time. And so in the time on the output, we want our current, like what our frames per second is. And this is gonna be project based, right? So if you press control D, you'll see project management uh, and you'll see the FPS here. So it's based on this. Now we want to take, um, we wanna take this and we need to do some maths. I hate math. Thank God this will do it for me. So here is our math node. We are going to be dividing. So we're going to take our controller and we're going to take our frames per second. We're going to be dividing our frames per second by, uh, by our controller property here. <clears throat> if you want to see what that is, uh, result, you can see what the result of that output is by plugging this into here. There we go. 1.1. Wow. So you can see this changes. Um, and so here, uh, we need to take this number and we get output it to the frame of the cube. Okay. This is it. That's set up. Now what we have is this controlling property, but you're like, Hey, nothing's happening. And that's because in our object tag, we have to disable use animation. And now you're going to see it's interpolating um properly and i guess i should probably show why you need this because if this frame let's just disconnect let's disconnect this output real quick uh if we go into our object and we try and keyframe this frame right so if we if we try and actually get this to work frame seven and 21. And then we're like, cool, that looks great. Um, look at my animation. We want to ease it. Good luck. You can't access the curve information. And this is why we do this. And so if we right click animation, delete track, and we just take this, I'll put it back into our frame, go to our cube, go to our user data, and because we now have this, what we can do is set our keyframe. We can move our keyframe. Let's add another keyframe to the end, wherever the end is. There we go. And now we have this, but now we also have curve control. Isn't that nice? Uh, I think this is, this is the way that you should be able to access and animate uh, the Olympic properties, but Sylvie, you can't. So this is the hack. This is how you do it. Uh, happy keyframing. Peace.